morning? Have you waken up already? I haven't. <laughs> Um, but uh, let's try to get our motor running. Um, so I'm going through now some, some basic ideas for the, for the brainstorming, and then I will explain how the brainstorming process goes, who does what and when, which is this one. So the, the basic importance why we have this seminar is, of course, introducing and testing the methods. You will then yourself find out what the, the brainstorming is about and how you can do it. And also, of course, we are producing ideas and knowledge for Road Idea Roadmap. So this seminar is a, a show, a pilot, a test system for you, but it's also meant for giving us new knowledge that you have in your head. Your tacit knowledge is wanted. Uh, this uh, method that we're using is based on futures research um, um, in what is discipline, discipline. So the futures research is is probably less have value in its forecasting accuracy, but its more its usefulness is pl for planning and strategic um, decision making and opening minds to consider new possibilities and changing the policy ag agendas. So this is why we are using futures research. And uh, the source, as I said, told yesterday, is the Millennium Project, which has its head office in Washington. And when we were in Washington, the director of the project was very nice enough, and he came and gave us a good lecture. And it was very much valued uh, by us and by the Washington people. They were very impressed that we had a good director with us. Um, the method that we're using is called Futures Workshop. Uh, normally it's a method that creates future ideas for, or it can be used for organizational development, or, or it can be used for solutions to a given problem, or it can innovate new future alternatives, scenarios for given activities or operations. So it has many uses, and it's very loosely uh, put together, but the main point there is that there is a process engineer who knows <coughs> how to go about. So it, in a way, it is disciplined imagining, if you can see what I mean. I mean that you can imagine whatever, but there has to be a marching order. There has to be some method to keep it going. And this is the Futures Workshop, and uh, we are using it now here. Oh, I showed you yesterday why this is important in, in complex issues. You need a lot of different facet knowledge of different people because the, pro because the problems are complex. And of course, the, the steps are brainstorming, grouping, and evaluating. Three steps. And how to approach innovation work is to be like these people here, think outside the box and ask questions, ask questions to yourself and to others. So this is how we do it. Uh, and this is explanation of a, of a complete um, religious workshop. Normally they are two or three days long. So there's a lot of, lot of people doing a lot of work. But we shall now show you three steps only. The group of people uh, are conducting uh, brainstorming by suggesting future ideas, what problems or needs, whatever is, is wanted on the topics. And these are then numbered and documented by the group leaders. And uh, they are written on the big paper and uh, using help of pens by capital letters for all to see that. This is important that the text is so that everybody can see clearly what is written there. You, you would probably be surprised that this wasn't the case in our seminars. That would be understandable. But many people didn't realize that, that they should be capital letters so that everybody can see what you're writing. And then after one hour of uh, one and a half hour, uh, when all ideas seem to be uh, documented, then they are organized in a manner that combine the same type of uh, ideas so that you get more precise ideas 
in the prior and prioritize them by giving red points or red hearts as we did. And you, we shall here do so that you will give three dots to that, that idea that you think is the best one, and two dots to that idea that you think is the second best, and one for the third best. So we can then calculate the dots, which idea gets, and how many dots. Normally, this brainstorming continues after participants have reselected their groups. But we shall now go over this because we don't have time, and we go directly to evaluation cycle. And this means that the, the existing ideas uh, that are there are studied by all people, going around from groups to other, to <coughs> other groups besides your own. And if you can try to ride on the idea, if you think that this is a good idea, but, but you wanted to add something, then you can do it by writing it down, or our uh, group leader writes them down, whatever you uh, make decision of. Or then you can write a new idea, if it comes to your mind, hey, hey, I got a new idea that comes to my mind, then you can put, put it there and combine it to some, with some idea if possible. And this is, is, it's uh, important that you discuss any idea uh, with the others. So this is not an independent poll, and it's a deliberative poll that you do. Discuss with people while you're circling. And then, after the circle is done, then we give again red dots. Which are the most best ideas to your thinking from the, all the nine ones that you have seen? And then, these are then documented by each then which are the best ideas. And uh, this only means that you normally then continue in a pub because then it makes you uh, even create more ideas. <laughs> we have had that experience. This is uh, just a keep, you keep, keep in mind how to be successful in this work is to Get the whole system in the room means that you have different people with different understanding, with different tacit knowledge. Invite a significant cross-section of all parties with a stake in the outcome. I hope this is the case here, or per per perhaps not so as it is in a project, but, but you can understand this. And get everyone talking about the same world. This is something also that you can, you can create your own interest, the mutual interest, and, and a certain language to that. Think locally, you probably can understand what that means. Urge full attendance, keep part-time participants to a minimum, this is important. Meet under healthy conditions, every room with windows. <laughs> okay, we shall open the windows for that. And snack and meals and adequate breaks that we have taken care of. Work across three days. This is, some, this is a recommendation, but we cannot take that now. Ask for voluntary public commitments to specific next steps before people leave. This is normally the case when there is a problem that is uh, uh, ideas of solutions are given. So it, the, the big idea is that you know what you do when you go out. You have something. Else. You have gone from intention to action. That is something that we use as a slogan. So today we have three groups, and these are the innovation topics, business models, international cooperation, and futures technologies. Now you can now choose your group freely. And Pirko and Rene and me are group leaders, and we go over to different corners of this room you take your chair and sit down in front of that um, poster place where we will then write on the trips. You will see what happens. Then the project leader will write down your ideas. But you can also use post-its if you want to and write your own ideas if you want to think about them first. Mm. It is sometimes new technology goes through three stages. This is a, I think it's a good analysis of the, of the 
phenomenon. First, it is ridiculed by those ignorant of its potential. Next, it is subverted by those threatened by its potential. Finally, it is considered self-evident. There are many examples of technology, how this has been, been uh, valid. And I think now that after the public break, you choose your, you select your uh, group and take your chair and sit down there in an arch around that place. We shall organize the place meanwhile you are on a coffee break. Okay. We have done this several times, so you know how to go about and other people have been also. Sure. 